Um, but that's good. Um, and here is where my Mortar is going to shine. Uh, mortar very bad at leading targets, but I'm just letting him uh, shell on his own, and then I decide, no, I'm not going to let him shell on his own. I'm going to target this manually. If anything is ever moving quickly, always direct control your Mortar, because they're not going to know how to lead targets. But in any case, these Assault Infantry are just easy pickings. Um, his only option to keep them safe would have been a full-scale retreat or um, to push through into where my men are taking cover. And he likely wouldn't have won that fight, even though Assault Infantry are hard asses. I have so many people that they probably would just kill him when they show up. Of course, his other option is to throw a grenade over that wall, and so he kills some of the guys. And here, a uh, thing shows up to kill my mortar. Um, I had some people hiding in the bushes, and they managed to distra distract it long enough for my... Uh, uh, AT gun to fire. Unfortunately, it does manage to kill three of my commandos, which is bad. Commandos are very nice infantry. They're the British elite infantry that aren't assault infantry, the ones that don't come with armor, but they come with red berets, and uh, they are awesome. They get Thompson submachine gunners, because I guess people realize the Sten submachine gun sucks. And um, I think one or two of them come with a Bren. I think that guy with a helmet comes with a Bren. No, the guy with a helmet doesn't come with a Bren. He comes with a Sten. But that's a better Sten. Looks like a better stand. I don't know. In any case, commandos are very nice. All the elite infantry are nice. And so I figure if um, my submachine gunners couldn't do it, maybe a commando could, especially because things are cleared out a bit. And um, that guy gets shot, so that's not going to happen. Um, and that, my friends, is Japanese rocket artillery that you just saw launch. Um, so now that's also on my list of things to kill, and so I decided to go around to kill it, but unfortunately it is just Japanese heaven in here. There's a rocket thing, there's people in the bushes all over, there's a tank. Rocket artillery targeted my mortar, which I had predicted, I totally saw that coming, and uh, luckily it's not super accurate at that distance, especially on its first shot, and it just manages to cream a car that somebody left parked in a battle zone. Not a good idea. Do not leave your car parked in a battle zone. So I buy a sniper because I figure um, I'm not going to make any headway on the left while there's people in all these bushes. All I have to do is clear out all these infantry and then I can get, um, then I can crawl forward, not be seen, and take out stuff. Um, and so a sniper is very helpful for this. Um, not only can the sniper scout for you and uh, tell you when it's safe to sneak forward and stuff, but he can also kill the people in the first place. So he can make a hole and then make sure the hole stays clear. Um, and my growing my guys, getting that slightly injured guy behind a building so he can heal up. Um, you know, doctoring, babying your people, always a good idea. This guy just drives a motorcycle right in and decides to come my mortar. Um, one guy in a bush is really all it takes if they're not uh, paying attention. It's never underestimate the parts of an ambush. I try and see if I can repair it, but it doesn't need repairs. You, if you shoot the people off the motorcycle, the motorcycle will be unscathed. Uh, that took my mortar out. That was a rocket hit. Um, so... You know, my plan was maybe to use the motorcycle to see if I could take the rocket, but uh, these guys show up to take the motorcycle, and so I just kill them. Just, you can you can get pretty hurt trying to take a motorcycle. I don't know where those guys came from, though. That's a pretty good question. How'd they get through my lines? I don't know. Watching this again, uh, now I'm kind of worried that that guy was able to get so close and basically onto the motorcycle without me noticing until he started to get onto the motorcycle. In any case, I had two tank crewmen heading towards the motorcycle right now, as you see. Maybe you don't see. That was a very short glimpse of the tank crewman. Ooh. So, yes, always spreading out. This is my sniper right now. I'm looking for trees that he can get in. Um, he's in a tree right now, but I'm looking for a better tree. And I buy another mortar, because the mortar was working pretty well. Um, boom. He keeps chucking grenades. So I figure I'll chuck the grenade back, but it turns out that guy was slightly to the left, and uh, that didn't work. And that explosion you heard? Yeah. Rocket artillery <laughs> on the motorcycle. This guy's really big on his rockets. He should go hang out with Werner von Braun, because that guy makes rockets, and he's a Nazi. All right, um, but then he's American, so that was okay. And so, uh, like I said, it's time to start picking off these people on the left. Um, he's got people hidden through all sorts of things, so while they're in a firefight with my submachine gun infantry, I just tell my sniper to uh, shoot him, and I totally knew there was a rocket coming at that guy, so I just got him out of there, and he wasted a whole rocket in an effort to get one guy. And meanwhile, my uh, sniper is picking people off with the EM-2. I don't know what that stands for. I assume it's some sort of Lee Enfield rifle, but um, maybe it's an Enfield mm, oh, rifle. I don't know what the M stands for. Enfield, not M field. So it's not M field. That's not. That's not what it stands for. All right, and we have 118 points versus 104, so this game is basically even. Although now we have 141 points because he drove his Chinu right into something that exploded. Um, that was unfortunate. But don't waste tanks. There's your lesson. And then it exploded again. So, lots of explosions in this match. I hope you like explosions.
And um, my mortar is, I'm going to use to take out this one guy in a crater because, you know, mortar shells cost basically nothing as long as you don't use them all up. And if you do use them all up, you can always buy an ammo truck. And I figured there's always some other people around too. As you saw, I killed that submachine gun infantry. And um, it basically has to land directly in this crater because anything else, the lip of the crater will pr uh, protect him from fragmentation. But unfortunately, a rocket lands directly on my mortar. Mortar is fine. Mortar crewmen appear to be dead. So another grip, another batch. They'll show up and they'll be like, hmm, this is eerily abandoned. And I'll be like, yes, nothing bad happened to the original people. You're going to have an awesome time. And they're going to be like, oh, God. And so I finally find a tree my sniper can climb. So I tell him to climb that. Um, I don't know what that assault infantryman was doing, but it totally didn't work for him. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, that rocket did work for him. Extreme damage. Um, kills an entire submachine gun infantry squad, so that helps them get a few points back, 148 to 119. Uh, they're barely behind by anything, and it turns out my ally was trying to recruit that mortar too. Cheeky, cheeky, sneaky, sneaky. I don't really care who gets the mortar as long as my ally's not an idiot with it. Uh, you know, the shells do just as much damage no matter who's firing, and it doesn't matter who gets the kill. So I'm scouting right now with my sniper. He's set to hold fire because I don't want him just picking people off and revealing his position. Um, mortar just got killed by another rocket. Um, I'm guessing they, maybe they have two rocket artillery or something. I don't know. They've, they're firing rockets quite a bit. Maybe that thing re reloads really fast. Not really sure. I don't use the rocket artillery very much. I don't use a lot of artillery at all. So um, it's just a matter of going one by one and picking off all these people on the left and eventually I'm going to kill all of them or uh, my opponent's going to keep reinforcing them. And either way uh, that's damage I can get behind and it'll all be worth it if I can ever end up sneaking behind a tank and killing it. Um, so I'm using my sniper to see if the way is clear. Um, the way is actually not clear. If you're watching the mini-map, you'll know there's a guy in a bush. Um, but um, I'm letting my man crawl forward anyways, because I figured the guy in the bush isn't going to see him. And uh, for whatever reason, my ally bought a turtle. For whatever reason, uh, the enemy sent an assault infantry to try and kill the turtle. That totally doesn't work, because he's running straight down the road, just gets shot. Of course, if that had worked, it would have been amazing. Um, unfortunately, this submachine gun infantry guy, I guess, was spotted, came under attack, and so he returned fire. Um, does manage to reveal um, a machine gunner for me, though, and so my sniper will aim and fire, picking him off. Although, very bizarrely, no kill message comes up yes. in the upper left. In about five or ten seconds, you're going to see um, the kill message come up for that guy, and it's going to be really weird. I don't really understand. Um, look at that, World Crush Machine Gunner. So. As, as far as I can tell, I think my sniper might have rendered him almost dead, knocked him down. Um, oh, my ally bought a giant artillery piece, a six-incher, and uh, shelled the rocket artillery. So that's one way to take care of it. As far as I can tell, my sniper very badly injured that man. Then the tank fired at him, and a high explosive shell knocked a piece of the wall down onto him while he was prone, recovering from my sniper's shot. I honestly have no idea what happened. So now I find a squad of paratroopers hidden in these bushes, and uh, nobody is safe from the snipers. I just tell them to start picking them off one by one. Um, I'm not really worried about him revealing his position, because paratroopers are expensive, so I feel it's worth um, sniping them over and over and over and over. You see we have 201 points versus their 142. Thing is going well, and um, they get a flat gun right up into the middle. Um, they do manage to take the track off this turtle and they start mowing my people down. I'm like, oh, everybody, get out of the road, man. There's a flat gun there. 